Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Emma, is that you? Eesh, I don't want to fall off this. Well, that bodes ill. Maybe there's something on here. Jesus Christ! Oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Ugh. You left me back there, you asshole! Oh God, Emma, come on! Oh what the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like... Bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! No, you're right, you're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the 
funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. That fucking thing bit me, dude. Really need Caitlin to look in it. I... Wait, it bit you? That little scratch? Oh. I, uh... Could have sworn it was much bigger before. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> you know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, shit, okay, you know what? You're right, okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously, I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> Run! Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what are you... I want to taste you. Hey! Come here. Oh, Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off! Oh, but watch out! I said get off! What a 
as I do. I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving ah. so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? I wonder where Caleb is. It was so different like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. B. 
be. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. It's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? It's such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? Nick, I do like you. No. No, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God. Very smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Abby! Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. <sighs> okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. Hmm. Ryan's stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors.
I've never done this before, Pa. Let's do it fast. That's it. Feel safe. Abby.
killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't... I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Okay, I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. The moon. How poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this, and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? go then. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? <laughs> 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 <laughs>